I'm Chad Bowie. I'm Ryan Johnson. And in this rotation, we're going to talk about uh, leveling, a pull type planter, and a few things to look at. So one thing that we want to start out with on the front of this pull type planter is to allow your three point to have a little travel. If you go over uneven ground, we can move this pin at the bottom of our arm to allow a little bit of travel. So what I'm going to do, I pull this keeper pin out. I pull this pin out and I simply just move it to the bottom hole and then put your keeper back in. And what that'll do is that'll allow that to fluctuate as you go through a dip. And you can see the paint's kind of wore off, so it has been moving on this particular tractor. All right, so when you get ready to go ahead and start trying to uh, perform your level procedure, there's a few very important keys to keep in mind. First of all, you want to try to find the le most level flat surface you can possibly find and uh, go ahead and bury your planter in down to the normal planting depth. In addition to that, you want to have kind of what you consider your average down pressure uh, dialed into your machine so that you've got kind of a, a middle ground sample to work with. In addition to that, if you, in the event that you uh, run seed boxes, or really just any time you're doing this, uh, you want to have it about quarter full, about 25% full of seed, so that you're able to uh, kind of get level it according to uh, what you might think of kind of the minimum amount of pressure you might have on it. Uh, it's a very different scenario to level a full planter versus one that's just got uh, kind of a, a smaller amount of seed. So when we move to level a planter, a pull type planter like this, uh, typically you want to take your measurement on the uh, actual bar here itself. Uh, this is uh, this is actually done in this case using an iPhone app or any app, smartphone app at all will happen to be able to do this. Uh, basically eliminates the excuse that I didn't bring a level two of the field so I didn't want to fight with it. Uh, just download the app, put it on there, gives you a good idea as to your accuracy and uh, also makes a very simple way to try to go ahead and uh, make any uh, adjustments you might need to make. Depending on what planter you're running, um, some of the newer planters have uh, hydraulic wing downforce. So what that's going to do is it's going to use hydraulic pressure to keep these wings in the ground. Um, if you're running an older model, you can have a suitcase weight bracket right here and you may have to run three or four suitcase weights out on the end if, if you're running in some harder soil and this wing wants to work out. Moving around from the uh, suitcase weights onto the row unit themselves, first thing you want to look at as you, after you've got your planter leveled is uh, the basically the angle that your parallel arm linkages are at. Ideally, you will want them totally parallel, totally flat. Uh, in the real world, basically, you're never going to see that, so you're going to end up with a tip up of just a little bit, which will also be an acceptable angle for uh, kind of your typical operation. Also, while you're at this angle or at this location, let's go ahead and measure uh, the distance from the parallel arm to the ground. Uh, that should always be in the area of 20 to, 20 to 22 inches. As we walk around the back of this planter, um, one thing, just friendly reminder that, that uh, happens quite often, um, you got your tone wheel sensor down here. Uh, what that's gonna do is that's gonna tell you if it's moving or not. So it's very important to go ahead and look and make sure that that's spaced. That sensor should be about 3 16 an inch away from the wheel um, for it to read accurately. Okay, after your tone wheel is, uh, you're confirmed that your tone, tone wheel is uh, clear and everything looks good there, uh, it's always good to go through and check tire pressure of all the t tires along the way. Uh, for example, this one, uh, which looked normally in good shape, turns out to be low. Uh, it's always a good idea to check your tire pressure up and down the line uh, after you're confirmed that your height is where you want it to be at and uh, if you need to make any adjustments in that space. Finally, after you work your way to the very back of the planter, a good thing to do while you're in this business is go ahead and check out uh, the performance of your closing wheels. Essentially, you wanna be looking to make sure that the closing wheels are actually pushing the soil down along the edge of the trench and not driving directly on top of it, and also that he doesn't have excessive play in the closing wheel um, so that you can uh, get that ideal seed to soil contact. If you have any questions or would like to know more information about pull type planters, please go ahead and contact your local landmark dealer and we'll be happy to help.